welcome back to the channel. Well, we're a bit like buses, aren't we? Nothing for weeks and then two so close together. That's life. Today, as promised, we're taking you to Rooksbury Park, which we went on to following Herman Fest. And on our way back to the ferry in Poole, we stopped over for an hour or so in the New Forest and we do you an aerial tour of Poole Harbour before we're ready to go home. So, hope you enjoy. Bit of an extra one this, but thanks. Just to make sure you keep in line. on the lawn just there. Don't think you're in doubt about the speed limit there, are you? No. Five mile an hour on the whole site. Oh, are they going to check us in first? They did that before, didn't they? I, uh, Mason, booking for four nights. Alan Mason, is that? That's it. Yeah, you're on a hard stand with awning. You can choose your awning now. Yeah. You've been here before. Yeah, uh, loads of times. Five mile an hour at all times when you're on your side. You're here, you're going around. I can't see your right. You're looking for a red, you're too high up. Oh, no, 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 no. You're looking for a white square along yeah. here. You just drive around, pick your pitch. No problem. As soon as you finish, come back up two posts on the pitch. You've now. converted to two now so, as well, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. Know, uh, yeah. in between the both of them. Yeah, no problem. So as soon as you decide to be uh, pitching, you just pop up. And Will do. Out the Thanks for your help. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. That's the guy that offered to help you with the gas bottle yeah. last time. Going particularly slow because of the... Up. Of course. Low profiles. We don't want the up to be too low. It's quite busy. Just arriving at Rooksbury Park. It's a lovely site set in the middle of the forest. Beautiful drive down to it and take a look at it from above you'll really see how it's forested all the way around. So we're wandering uh, down to the dog area. Before coming here, we've been here before, and in fact, when I wrote my book, I put this down as one of my favourite sites, or probably the favourite site. And I was hoping we weren't going to be disappointed, and I have to say, I don't think we are. So, really lovely scenery and then from here I'll take a look back up the site yeah and all manner of birds and the place has got loads of rabbits and 
pheasants. You can hear pheasants most of the time. And it really is a very peaceful sight. There goes a pheasant. And you're right in the middle of the forest area and it's the Roxbury Estate and the site has permission for people on the site to use the footpaths through the Roxbury Park Estate which is private land so that's a really big plus. A couple of walks, there's a walk into, well there's a lot of walks but in particular there's one walk that goes all the way down into Wickham. It's about two miles, but it's quite flat. The other one is going through the Bluebell Woods and uh, ending up at the Roebuck Pub, which sounds like quite a good idea. It takes about 20 minutes. I particularly like the way they've got hard standing and grass pitches kind of all mixed up it gives it a really nice feel it's like you're in the middle of a field even when you're on a hard standing I often find there's loads of pheasants in these little areas that they've got around the site and some of these little areas are dedicated to the dogs as you will see there which is always useful keeps everything clean that's a pheasant going off again can't see it. This is one of the uh, way stations and service points, not motorhome service point but general service point, rubbish etc. Water Alson point. I think that gives you a good idea of how wooded the site is, it's lovely. This is a, another of the facilities blocks and the way up to the footpath is behind this facilities block as well which is good and the motorhome service point is just there and that's a full one with the usual grade and the manhole covers for the black waste. Well, that's nice, all the herbs. A lot of the sites do that. Help yourself, but obviously don't be too greedy. They're still growing outside washing up area. And again, you'll see how open but wooded the site is. It really is a nice combination of the two. Well, I found where the noise is coming from. Here's one pheasant along with a pigeon. Don't know how close I'll be able to get before he uh, dives off into the woods. But I'll do my best. It's not really the right camera for wildlife photography. But at least he's in contact with the site so you can see him and he is magnificent. Looks much prettier to me from where I am than he will do on the, on the camera, I'm sure. The other one's just gone into the woods. Maybe he'll come out the other side of the tree. There he is. As I say, these little clumps of woodland get full of them. Quite majestic. I've only scratched the surface of the site really. But it does give you a flavour and you'll have heard all the birds. We also took a little trip into Winchester while we were there. I had to have a little bit of retail therapy. I'm down there somewhere. So we're on our way back to Paul now, but we stopped over in the New Forest just to have a quick sandwich, take in the scenery, but there were no horses there. Well, in the rest of the forest there were, but not where we stopped. 
but it was beautiful and it was such a lovely day. We were in the beautiful new forest. We've left Roxbury Park and we're now on our way to Poole. We pick up the ferry and uh, we're on the ferry first thing, well, hardly first thing, 10.30, we've got to be checked in in the morning. But that wouldn't have given us long enough to have got from Portsmouth or to Portsmouth, checked the van in, dealt with everything and then get to Paul through the rush hour. Beautiful. June's a lovely time in the New Forest, everything's so green. there to the Fisherman's Marina, beyond that is the Leisure Marina and then beyond that the docks. It's low tide at the moment. They'll go across to Brownsea Island. See the boats coming in. It's quite quiet but then it is midweek. A few trip boats out there. Weekends it's chock a block with leisure craft, both motor and sailing. Certainly smells of seaweed.
So, we are ending our trip, it was only a week, and we end it by the lifting bridge, which we will be going over shortly. Thanks for watching, hope you liked it, albeit a quick extra one. And uh, we're off next week, well, only four days to go now, and we'll be back in the UK. So look out for some more videos. Hope you liked it, as I say. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.